Since 2001, the U.S. has been in Afghanistan for over 20 years, and this long war has inspired many movies about soldiers there. Some of these movies are based on real stories, showing the tough times faced during this extended conflict and occupation. In today's video, we will discuss the 10 best Afghan war movies. Intervene in something you know nothing about! You think you can change everything with just one bullet? At number 10, we have High in a Road, a film that immerses us in the complexities of the war in Afghanistan. The story revolves around a group of Canadian soldiers stationed in Kandahar province, tasked with building a vital road, known as Hyena Road, through a dangerous Taliban-controlled region. As they work to complete this critical infrastructure project, they face constant threats and ambushes from the enemy. Taking kids authorized to engage. Sit tight. BDK is protected by the CIA. He's their asset. They are taking little kids. Do not intervene. Do the movie offers a gripping portrayal of the soldiers' experiences on the front lines, highlighting the challenges, camaraderie, and the difficult choices they must make in the midst of a war zone. Kilo 2 Bravo. Down there. Tell your mom I love her. Number 9 on our list is Kilo 2 Bravo, also known as Kajaki, a film based on the real-life Kajaki Dam incident involving British Army soldiers in Afghanistan in 2006. The movie unfolds as these soldiers, while on a mission near the Kajaki Dam, spot Taliban forces and attempt to secure a better vantage point to engage them. However, they inadvertently enter an undiscovered Soviet-era minefield, leading to a perilous situation where every step could be their last. I've got to off another. Come on! The film has received widespread acclaim and was even nominated for several BAFTA awards. It's worth noting that the real-life incident resulted in five surviving soldiers suing the British Ministry of Defense for the risks they faced during this mission. Lone Survivor At number 8, we have Lone Survivor, a 2013 film that vividly depicts the mission of four Navy SEALs assigned to capture the notorious Taliban leader, Ahmad Shah. Their mission takes a fateful turn when they encounter three go-thirds in the Afghan mountains. Faced with a moral dilemma to release the go-thirds, potentially risking their mission, or eliminate them, risking civilian lives, they decide to free them, letting to a deadly firefight with the Taliban. The film is made even more poignant by the fact that it's based on the true story narrated by one of the Navy SEALs involved, Marcus Luttrell, who was the lone survivor of the ordeal. The Outpost Let's show him some love with the 120s. You all right, mate? Come on, get your arms around me. But you're not gonna die, okay? RPG! At number seven, we have The Outpost, a gripping war drama directed by Rod Laurie. This intense and realistic film, based on a true story, boasts a talented ensemble cast who deliver outstanding performances portraying soldiers stationed at a remote and perilous outpost in Afghanistan. The plot revolves around the Battle of Kamdesh during the Afghan War where these soldiers valiantly defend outposts Keating against relentless Taliban attacks, offering a stark portrayal of the chaos and psychological toll of war. Yes, Sergeant! No, oh, Sergeant! Fuck! Fuck, fuck, The outpost stands out for its realistic depiction of the Afghan war. Free of this debt, I wouldn't be. You think I have a choice? At number 6, we have The Covenant, a thought-provoking film by Guy Ritchie that sheds light on the plight of Afghan interpreters, drawing inspiration from several true stories. The movie follows the intertwined paths of an American, played by Jake Gyllenhaal, and an Afghan, portrayed by Dar Salam, as they forge an enduring friendship amidst the challenging circumstances. Like Extraction, the film explores the concept of the interchangeable nature of human connections, which resonates deeply with audiences. The absence of explicit suffering in the Covenant is replaced by a haunting atmosphere, emphasizing the weight of unspoken burdens carried by Sergeant John Kinley, who seeks to repay his debt to Ahmed for saving his life. 
Osama. Inspired by a true story, a critically acclaimed masterpiece. At number five, we have Osama, a gripping film set in Afghanistan during Taliban rule. The story revolves around a young girl who, in a desperate attempt to survive in a society that restricts women's freedom, disguises herself as a boy named Osama. This decision leads her into a challenging and dangerous journey as she navigates the harsh realities of life under the Taliban regime, where women are prohibited from working and leaving their homes without a male guardian. Best foreign film. The first movie made in Afghanistan after the fall of the Taliban. A powerful film of survival and of an amazing protagonist's dedication to do whatever it takes to thrive. Zero Dark Thirty. Osama bin Laden. Yeah. What part convinced you? Her confidence. Number four on our list is Zero Dark Thirty, directed by Catherine Bigelow. This gripping film takes us inside the CIA's relentless pursuit of Osama bin Laden. While it focuses more on the intelligence operatives than the soldiers on the ground, the movie provides a captivating look at the decade-long manhunt and the intricate strategies employed. Released just a year after bin Laden's death, he is one of the disappeared ones. Zero Dark Thirty includes a thrilling recreation of the Navy SEAL Team 6's raid on the bunker, making it one of the most exhilarating sequences in cinema that year. Restrepo This is the Southern Corn Belt. Deadliest place on Earth. At number 3, we have Restrepo, a documentary created by journalist Sebastian Jinner and British photojournalist Tim Hetherington. This film takes us into the heart of the Afghan conflict as it follows the second platoon's experiences from their deployment to their return home. It showcases dramatic events, including a Taliban attack triggered by a Humvee explosion, the platoon's mission to secure the Kringal Valley and build trust with local residents, and the construction of an outpost known as Opera Strepo. It's like crack, you know? That's been shot at. You really can't come down. You can't top that. How are you going to go back to the civilian world then? I have no idea. Throughout the documentary, the bonds formed among the soldiers, their efforts to forge peace with the local population, and intense combat scenes with the Taliban, featuring Sergeant Larry Rugel, are prominently featured. 12 Strong. I am your biggest gun cap. The only way home is winning. At number two, we have 12 Strong, a film that takes us into the early days of the war in Afghanistan. This gripping tale follows U.S. Captain Mitch Nelson, who, after volunteering for the mission, leads O to 595 alongside the veteran soldier CW5 Hal Spencer. After 23 days of continuous warfare, Nelson and his 12 soldiers return safely to their hometown, forging newfound friendships along the way. I made her a promise, I'm coming home. What sets this movie apart is the astonishing fact that these soldiers fought on horseback against the Taliban. Notably, Chris Hemsworth and Michael Shannon deliver standout performances, supported by a fantastic cast in this 2018 film. The Tillman Story all the generals were lying. I can't be sure. I can't tell you. It's a guess. I don't know. I don't recall precisely how I learned that he was killed. At number one, we have The Tillman Story, a gripping documentary that reveals the tragic tale of Pat Tillman, a former football player who became a soldier and served in Afghanistan. The film explores the unsettling cover-up surrounding his death, initially portrayed as a heroic act, but later revealed to be the result of friendly fire. 2003. Pat and Kevin were deployed to Iraq. One month later, the Rangers were ordered to provide perimeter support for the rescue of Jessica Lynch. It sheds light on the relentless determination of Tillman's family as they seek the truth about his passing, a fight for justice that unfolds against the backdrop of a leaked covert file known as the P4 memo. That's it guys. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.